Williams. Someone said to me that the best performance since we won the playoff final to get into this division. Here's Oli Pierce at wide right. Maybe he turns to cross it. It's Dick Divata Adia who's shot across goal and has scored the opener within just four minutes. Adria puts York City ahead. What these new players can do, lovely knockback and set up for Molly Pierce. And it was just placed so perfectly. He just had the calmness to think about where he wanted to put it, no need to smash it. And Vicky Aguiar gets his first goal for the Minstermen. Sinclair lets it bounce as well and he might be able to take it round the goalkeeper but Nicholas have come out of his area there Pierce appears loudly for the clash between the goalkeeper and Sinclair who's remained on the floor I think the thing is the keeper's come out of his box and Sinclair looked like they were both going to arrive at the same time. Whether the goalkeeper got them, actually he got the ball as well in flattering into Tyrese. Lee Tyrese Sinclair against his old club. Hunt skips over it. It is Sinclair right footed at the goalkeeper, kept it on target. A bit of venom, but not really troubling at the course. It's a probably a good time as well to nip back to Phil in the studio with the scores elsewhere. Left-footed in swing out. It's actually a short one. And then it's a long cross from the east towards the far side. And Ebanks Mandel, where he had the header, but it was nowhere near the target. Too many of them during the game, but it rumbles all along there. We're not near the sunset yet, but it's getting a little bit darker. I love these evening games. Hardly giving it away, which is good. Hunt, what a perfect through ball there to Felix. Felix can run, run, run. Well, it wasn't a great cross after the one he made. A bit full of applause for each of these passes. Oh, a great interchange. Here comes Joe Felix. Here he goes up against Ebax Landell. Well, he has found his intended target somehow. Pierce with a long right footed cross. Wide across there was he dragged down. He's appealing for it. Aguiar. Yeah. Having bring it towards Rodney. We've got pace down the right hand side of the He's played it into McBride, who's somehow missed. So only just gone wide. Expected to see the net bulge. Yeah, I did. I mean, that's two really good chances for Rochdale in the opening 90 seconds of the second half. Our usual corner taker. And this is an out swinger. Heads go up. Evans Landell, Sinclair strikes it low. I think it took a little deflection and a bounce, but it's gathered by the Nicholas. Yeah, I think that deflection just took the pace off the ball, didn't it? And quite easy for the goalkeeper in the end. So his eyes were a little up there, Sinclair, when the ball was dropping to him. A few yellows drifting in. But you know, they're having a battle out there now to. Oh, oh, great ball. ball by the shot to Chadwick, one and one with the goalkeeper. Oh dear, a really heavy first touch from Billy Chadwick. And then John Lewis cutting through the Watchdale half. Alongside to Hunt. 
Akinyemi, left footed curler. Nice target. Yeah, great effort. Didn't think he's nine, but he got the ball. I like that about Akinyemi as well. He's not trying to have a go on his left foot. Other clubs are now in the National League. Here's marvellous Marvin Armstrong. Wow, as he brought it down there, referee was good, had a good look at it. He was close by Ted Gibbons, and then it's Phoenix with a basking delivery out, tipped out for a corner. Yeah, I don't think it was a foul, but credit to Felix picking that ball up and driving it. It'd be interesting to see how much time he's added on. I'm glad that Adam Hinchel would have made those substitutions all at once. Again, he's been absolutely everywhere tonight. Oh, he's played this one good, Wakanyemi on his right. Oh, oh he's off the crossbar. Oh, he struck it so well, Wakanyemi. Gordon sprays it aimlessly forward, but he didn't take too much time to look up, and Mail comes out of his goal. And that is it. That is the full time whistle. It's been hard earned, and it's been another good performance. Three good performances, one draw and two victories for the Minster men. This is the start to the season we wanted. This is Heaton Woods' dream happening at the